So let's just discuss about how this application works really quick. So what we have is number one thing you have to remember that we are working with React. And if we are working with React, I expect you to be familiar with JSX. JSX is uh, JavaScript extensible syntax in, in, in a way basically which allows you to write HTML like thing in JavaScript. So this is our entry point, I believe. No, the index is our entry point, right? So what happens is at the first we are importing React, React DOM, to actually mount this application in the browser. And then from that point onwards, we are basically doing um, just the regular stuff. We have the Ion React Router, which is a uh, React Router only, but just a flavor of Ionic added over that, so that it's easier for Ion Ionic to bind to certain routes when, the, when you're working with native devices, right? Then we have an outlet, which would contain route routes a bunch of routes you can exactly specify here then this specifies then this follows the exact convention of react navigation library so you're going to have a route then you can specify exact or not if you do not specify exact then it will go ahead and match anything it can so maybe you know if you have something like faq right if you have exact here then only slash faq would match but if you do not have exact here then slash faq would match slash faq slash one would match slash faq slash something slash something would match and so on right so that's the use of um, exact right here and there we are so what we are doing is that whenever we are on home page what i want to do is i want to redirect to slash home that is if i if i am on index page i want to redirect on slash home now, if you want, you can just go ahead and render your home component right here. It does not really matter a lot, but yeah, that, that's the deal. So again, you can specify true here. If you don't, by default, it takes it as true. So if you have just exact here, that means exact is true, right? So there's that. Now, again, home is just a regular component with the ion page, ion header, ion toolbar, all that stuff. Now this stuff right here comes directly from the documentation. So if we go ahead and take a look inside the components, um, let's see if we can go ahead and see, all right, I believe that we do not have a component thing here. There we are, the UI components. Oh, it was above. So you see that we have all these UI components available for us for react and uh, it's going to actually be very very easy for us to build stuff once we have like a basic knowledge of what components ionic offers out of the box so what you're going to see is that ionic offers most of the components you're going to need we have alerts we have badges we have buttons cards content chips checkboxes all the, all this good stuff which are the native components so you see that ionic also offers navigation out of the box which is a which is a you know kind of a a default thing uh, to be included in a package like this so we have ion nav with us right so here we are so we have this with us all these things so we're gonna make use of them all the way when we are working with the uh, ionic in general so that's all for this video I'm going to see you then in the next one real quick. Hopefully this was a good introduction till now for the Ionic part because from the next video onwards, we're going to be starting off with a little project which would eventually allow us to learn more concepts about Ionic.